an alternative way to determine the shaft alignment of the motor and pump that we have in front of us is to carry out a multi-point measurement which is referred to as IntelliPoint in the case of rotor line touch. So I choose the IntelliPoint measurement in this rotating selection and I see that subsequently we are set to IntelliPoint. What I can do here is, apart from the quality that is displayed by the measurement and for the result, I can also go for standard deviation. That is also a good means and a proper means in order to check the quality for the measurement we've done. Now in order to start the measurement, what we do again is we move the shafts plus the sensors towards us. What we see now is we have a needle here in front of us that shows the difference between the inclinometer of the laser and the inclinometer built in the sensor. So it shows that we are within a difference of two degrees, so we are still good as we are still with the needle in green. So we can start the measurement right as we are. I press the button. It tells us, waiting for stabilization, in order to start the measurement, I press the arrow to the right. What the system has done now, it has automatically taken a first measurement point, as in configuration and in default settings, we have enabled the automatic measurement after point stabilization. What we do now is, we proceed into several different positions. We look from the back side. You see I'm moving, for instance, into a position that would be 1030. What happens is automatically the measurement is being recorded. You see we have taken now two readings. I proceed further into, for example, 1130, roughly, looking from the back side, as we do on the screen here. You see the measurement has been recorded automatically. The fan has changed its color from red into yellow, so we could already call a measurement. But as we have way to go, we still proceed taking more measurement points. I go up to the 12 o'clock position. What you see is that we are slightly out with the needle here. So that means it doesn't take the measurement point like this. So I proceed a bit further in order to get back into the blue area. And now you see as we are good again with regard the difference between the two inclinometers, we have recorded the point now. I proceed further to one more measurement point. You see, after stabilization, it's automatically taken. I proceed a bit further down to three o'clock. Another point has been taken. You see, meanwhile, the fan has changed its color into green. You see the standard deviation SD on lower left side is just 200, so that's excellent already. I take one more point a bit further down. It's waiting for the stabilization and automatically after that stabilization taken a seventh reading. Now I call for the results. Oh, better I stop the measurement first of all and what we can do is we can check the measurement table, what we have done now. You see the upper side, we checked three times sweep. And the last two measurements are multipoint. You see that the readings are quite good, comparable. That is, they are within just a few hundred for all the readings we have taken. On the right side, you see the quality. You see that on the 
very right under the column SD, the three sweep measurements are a bit less good than the last two measurements. So the multi-point measurement has even the highest um, standard deviation uh, requirement. So it has the smallest standard deviation values, in fact. And it shows that multipoint can be a suitable measurement mode if you, for example, want to check sliding bearings.